Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we're gonna connect to Engrok. So Engrok is a platform that you can use to uh, tunnel your local host to different like to the internet. Basically it allows you to open up your local development processes, local webs to the web so you can go and test for third party apps and that's why I have opened also Slack because we are gonna connect Slack application we are gonna create a Slack application to use our local host to respond something into our channels. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is go to engrock.com and you can log in, sign up, and you the first thing, thing you need to do is to establish the ingress for your application for a Engrock. So basically, I'm using Mac OS right now, so you have to do the reinstall Engrock, 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 and then Engrock config with the tokens. If you're using a different platform, you can click here like Windows, Linux, uh, basically have all the commands for example for windows you have to you know using shoko or you can download directly okay but yeah basically you need to first have that working on your local we could use the api but for now we're gonna uh, emphasize on what is engrok and why we're using it okay so once you have engrok running on your computer we can go ahead and start working with it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an npm init file. We're gonna install Express. We're gonna install Engrok. We're gonna create our index.js file with the ghost express. We're gonna bring back these packages that we installed ghost ngrok equals to require ngrok let's do ghost app equals to express to initialize express then let's create a nice here for example that we're gonna do a request so the idea is that we're gonna create a dice application so whenever you run it you get a different dice number so let's do const random dice equals to math.floor with the math.random times 6. So that's going to be 0 to 5 plus 1 is 6. And then we're going to do a rest and dice rolled and the random dice. So it's going to be the other quotes. Okay, now we're gonna do a const port. We're gonna, I want to control this port because this is important for Engrok. So we're gonna do a process dot m dot dot m dot port, or actually let's do like a 3200. So we can control the port here. Why? Because Engrok needs the port to actually tunnel that. So we're gonna do a lab dot listen with the port and we can do like a console of a local host running on HTTP local host dot port and then we're gonna do a ngrok dot connect to the port then Engrok, let's say in the URL, I'm gonna do console log Engrok tunnel in, let's do Engrok URL, let's do a catch here just in case, console log. Columns, tunnel, and rock, and the error. Okay. So, yeah, basically, that's 
that's it. That's how it should work. So let's clear this out and see what we know in the chairs. And we have here our tunnel. So we're using a post here. So instead of going to the URL, let's go directly into Slack and try to create our own app here. So let's go to Slack. I'm gonna create a new app from scratch. Let's call it Rising Tight. Let's use this remark as always. I'm gonna do slash commands. I'm gonna create a command called dice. And in the URL, I'm gonna go and grab our ngrok URL slash dice because that's the endpoint that we're using. Let's do roll dice and save now we go to basic information we have to install the workspace do you want to install yes allow url here's allow dot slack that's perfect we have all these things we can you know change the color if we want whatever we want here you know just like rolling the dice okay so now let's go to relog Docsack.com. Let's go to our channel that we have with the bot here, the Hello Slack. Now let's do a dice. Dice roll one. Perfect. Let's write it again. Let's write it again. Let's write it again. I'm lucky right now. Yeah. So you can see how now we are getting all these rolls on the dice just by going into our local host, by setting up a Slack application using Ngrok. So yeah, if you have any comments, let me know. Uh, this is a really cool tool for you guys to develop more things on local host. And yeah, let me know. Yeah, sign up, subscribe, join, like the video. And um, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.